Previously on the final pitch. Tuala is the next generation e-signing platform. I think this will definitely be a game changer. If you want to do a pilot, uh, you're more than welcome. We can start on Monday if you want. We aim to revolutionize the way people utilize vending technology here in the Philippines. Maybe we can do some partnership together in the infrastructure. If you need help, I can connect you to Frank Court. We can explore first and then let's talk on the financing. I'm here to help local tourism communities bounce back from the effect of pandemic. Well, you're a winner already. If you love what you do, you're already successful, Jay. This week, the last set of entrepreneurs will close the curtains for this season's virtual edition. My name is John Aguilar, and I'm a serial entrepreneur based in Manila, Philippines. I've gathered a formidable cast of business and industry leaders looking to fund and support the country's post-pandemic solutions. Dennis Anthony Uy, co-founder and CEO of Converge ICT Solutions. David Almirol Jr., founder and CEO of Multisys Technologies. Rose Ong, Senior Executive Vice President and COO of Welcome Depot. Bernard D., Visionary Mayor of Kauaian City, Isabella. And Jay Villarante, Chairman and CEO of 8 Ventures. Our goal is to find and support the new breed of heroes taking on the challenges of a post-pandemic future. Many will try, but only a few will make it to the final pitch. First on stage are a pair of businessmen looking to be the go-to gateway to the internet for Filipinos in remote parts of the country. Hi Tyrone and Mike. Mike, very strange seeing you here right now because just a couple of seasons ago, you were on the other side with the investor team of William Thieu Lim as one of the family members and, I guess, business owners of Mega Global Corporation. So what does it feel like now that um, you're actually going to pitch your business? I'm happy to be here. We hope that we come home with a partner or an investor to help us uh, implement what we're trying to do for the country. Okay, so gentlemen, we're looking forward to hearing your pitch. This is hopefully going to be a big one. It's your turn. Good luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, judges. My name is Michael Tulim. My name is Tyrone Pinor. We present to you an investment opportunity with Netcom Technologies. Our goal is to build telecommunications network that the local telcos will not necessarily build on their own. And it's not because they don't want to but because they have other priorities. They go for denser cities. We, on the other hand, will go link far-flung public schools to the internet because they are the ones who need it more. So these are schools without access to any technology or any internet connectivity. Even islands who are far away can be connected to the internet. With this, we offer the opportunity to have a 10% share of the business with a 50 million peso investment. We have started this in Taytay expanded to Zamboanga, and currently expanding to Davao. And because it got traction with our peers in the national, have interests to expand in Malay Balay, Puerto Princesa, and other cities. The objective really was to get more economic activity in our cities to empower our citizenry to have a decent lifestyle through digital jobs. There are only 43% of internet penetration here in the Philippines. So what about the other 57? And that's who Tyrone and I are trying to help so that we can bring connectivity to their areas for the opportunity it brings, not only for livelihood, but even for education and everything else. The primary goal of Netcom is to reach the places where telco companies may choose to go at a later time. But right now, we see that they are the ones in need and that's why they are the ones we prioritize as our mandate and advocacy. We have worked with all the government agencies listed here. They have actually partnered with us through our ICT councils. Some of you may not be familiar with ICT councils. Basically, it's a volunteer organization meant to help the city ensure that we are ICT ready and to be able to invite companies like you, like your companies, to, to locate in our cities to be able to bring in the jobs. And because of the technology Tyrone and I bring, even, even islands who are far away can be connected to the internet. We hope to expand this nationwide. Come join us in helping connect 10 million countryside Filipinos to the internet.
Thank you. I appreciate your noble idea. We really need to connect all students, all pupils, because I really believe that they need to get access to information that they will need to get more advantages in, in the future. That's why I really appreciate your, your vision. Thank you, sir. I'm seeing the next Dennis Uy in the two of you. There's still a lot of places, 50 plus percent of the country is still, you know, not connected. I hope you succeed. Looking forward to a better Philippines, more connected. Thank you. We need this more than ever. We have some places that are really unreachable. We have to make sure that no one is left behind. And definitely, Kawayan is an avid supporter of um, ICT councils. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, guys. Good luck. I'll see you in Kawayan. I'm willing to partner with you because you're from that area. We are looking a lot of strong areas, strong presence, strong local people to able to deliver this to the local people. That's our mission too. So important crucial here is the infrastructure. Without infrastructure, whatever you mention about this anywhere in the Philippines, you cannot deliver. That's simple. I'm pretty sure I will be willing to work with you guys. In, in terms of this technology, I've been there for two decades already. So even I sleep at night, I know what I'm going to do in this, this field. Anything I can help, don't hesitate to contact us. You know us. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the kind words. And yeah, we hope we, uh, we can count on your support to help bring internet to all Filipinos. Thank, Thank you. you. I think it went well. The internet is really the equalizer that everyone needs for opportunities. The words that they shared with us kind of invigorated us to keep on doing what we're doing. We need a lot of entrepreneurs and Filipinos tend to not have that entrepreneurial mindset. But I want to see people try. There's no harm in trying. Like people have said, out of 100, 99 will fail. But you never know, you may be that one that makes it. I understand the role of ano, ICT Council. Talagan they're a uh, great help to cities. And they do their due diligence. Uh, pool, it's not enough that you have the infrastructure alone, eh? but the pool of workers, the IT skilled workers. So I think they're on the right track. I just don't know why it's too much, uh, like where the fund will go. The, the investment of 50 million is a nothing at all, I tell you. The capex of the infrastructure this year alone, I spent more than 23 billion. It's not enough. Yeah, I can see the, you know, I can see the sincerity, but I'm not seeing actually a precise way how they're gonna do it. Actually, maganda yung mission, maganda yung vision nila to. Uh, it's just again, the idea is bright. Um, implementation is another story. Up next, which would you rather invest in? Boring thesis or researches? or the booming and exciting crypto and NFT market. I have an offer in mind. Would I be able to do another counter offer? Concluding this season's pitches is a team of bright young entrepreneurs who want to set the world on fire with their e-commerce platform dedicated solely to intellectual property acquisition. Hey, Brian and Justin. Hey, John. hey John. You guys are presenting something that totally changes the dynamics of fundraising. Yes, that is correct. Our company, Scintillate, have done a platform wherein you can invest not on the companies itself, but purely on the technologies that they developed. I'm looking forward to hearing the pitch. For myself, I'm very curious how you could leverage something like this for different startups, different companies. You are our last contestant for today. I hope we end things with a bang. Let's finish strong. Thank you, Thank John. You, John. Hi, I'm Justin Rodrigo, and I'm a patent analyst. And I'm Brian Deroa, the COO and co-founder. And we are from Scintillate, an international startup and now, I would like to introduce to you to my brother and our CEO who's in South Korea right now, Joseph. Hi judges, I am Joseph. We have been invited by the Korean government 
to expand and establish our tech startup here in Korea along with 60 other select startups worldwide, some of which come from the Silicon Valley. Let me first ask a question. Which would you rather invest in? Boring thesis or researches? Or the booming and exciting crypto and NFT market? For me, probably I'd choose the latter because of its higher ROI. It takes an average minimum of five years to get back ROI on inventions and technologies. And this is what happens. Millions of researches are disposed yearly with thousands of potentially life-changing patents or inventions rotting away in dusty cabinets. But what if there's a way? Introducing Synthelate, the world's first technology and intellectual property bank. We enable the buying and selling, storing, investing, and even exchanging of patent technologies and IP contracts. With our first ever IP contracts exchange platform, anyone can buy, invest, and even exchange ownership in technologies and intellectual properties. Which is why we are now inviting you, our dear investors, for our angel or pre-seed funding round for a total of 750,000 US dollars with equity available of 15%. From the 15%, 9% is already reserved for our South Korean investors. We plan to reserve as much equity as possible because we are applying next year to Silicon Valley's Y Combinator. So investors, let me ask you again, which would you rather invest in? Millions of discarded but valuable IP or millions from high growth assets? Now. You can invest in both because now you can invest in Synthelate. Thank you. Hi, Joseph. Hello from South Korea. You're in one of the smart cities uh, in the world. First and foremost, it's a very impressive business proposal. And you got me in the, the first in the world. This has come up uh, so many times, the intellectual property. So one of the things that we've been really trying to address is really help out, whether it be students, whether it be artists. Hearing it from you guys, from your proposal, this is something that I think will get a lot of government support. You'll be helping the academia, you'll be helping in nation building, the citizens. But I would also want to warn you, because this is new, and since it's a business, Definitely government regulation will be there. I don't think you've considered any government uh, taxes that go in there, especially if you're dealing with different countries. So I think that's something that you can look into, uh, what government regulations Philippines might have. But again, I would like to work with you guys. Let us collaborate and uh, definitely you'll make a difference in this country. Thank you so much, Mayor. And of course, with your background as well, you can be a big help in championing R&D 2.0 and IP Finance 2.0 in the government. So definitely, uh, Mayor, we would be glad to be working with you. Hello, guys. I have just a few questions. How much trade volume have you done so far on your platform? So in essence, we have registered users, but in terms of trading volume, we might need a critical mass of 10,000 users to make it a worthwhile transaction experience. The trade volume is not yet there. Are you accepting Ethereum, Bitcoin, and other cryptocurrencies? That's part of our pipeline. So currently, we haven't yet integrated to cryptocurrency payments. Uh, but of course, later on, that's something that will be part of our pipeline because definitely they're part of the community that we are targeting. The idea is very interesting, but can you include other IPs like music? Yes, definitely. So that actually, that's the beauty of our platform. So even royalty contracts for music, for music videos, for film, any form of intellectual property. So that's actually part of the entire capacity. I have an offer in mind. But I want to check first the comments from the other investors. Thank you, Sir Jay. Uh, let me hear from the other investors. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate you. You know, I'm really excited and glad to see Filipinos ingenuity going abroad, you know. Another one is every time I look at the technology, I have three things in my mind. First is the doability of the platform. Second is the non-replicability. Uh, is, it, is it to replicate? Number three is the implementability of the platform itself. So my worry is you are not actually owning the technology itself. You're just aggregating it. Okay. And the one that you're aggregating it 
is actually not yours. So meaning anyone can aggregate that in the future. And it's quite scary for investors because normally they always look at, okay, we're gonna invest now. You're asking for 37 million pesos, that's 750,000 US dollar. And you're gonna tell us that I'm just aggregating the intellectual property of someone to my platform, which is we know that it can be replicated easily in the future. And literally, you don't own those uh, intellectual properties. So those are the doubts that I have. I think uh, this is too early stage for adoption and the maturity in the market is not there yet. No, it's too early for the market in the Philippines. You did a very good presentation. However, I'm not convinced of the idea, mainly because I don't take risks on, let's say, speculative. You're talking about, you know, IP and all this, no? So I still rely so much on the fundamentals. But I wish you well. I hope you succeed in this. This feedback is that there is no trade volume yet. You're not an NFT marketplace yet. The valuation is really high at $5 million. Maybe if you lower the valuation, I can, I can contribute financially. But at $5 million, it's too high. Uh, Sir Jay, would you like to make an offer? So I'm looking at a valuation of 1 million USD, and I'm willing to contribute 100K US. That's about 10%. What do you think? Mm. I understand the current value that you're seeing right now and definitely you will be a big uh, help sir in terms of growing and being able to integrate other aspects as well and that's what we really need. Of course, the valuation is something that we can negotiate. Uh, is it possible sir to give 200,000 US dollars with 8% but with an anti-dilution mechanism for the next funding round? The problem is that you don't have VASP license here in the Philippines. So I, you cannot really run this exchange in the Philippines without VASP because VASP means Virtual Asset Service Provider. And you're converting the patents into virtual assets. Of course, it's a very big value, Sergey, and we really love to get your expertise in the licenses, being able to operate right now. I think that would be a very strategic uh, partnership for us. Would I be able to do another counter offer at 150,000 US dollars with an anti dilution mechanism for the next round and a board seat for 10%. Up next, is it possible, sir, that I have a private call first with my uh, co founders? Okay. It's a very good offer. My biggest problem lang with the offer of Sir J. Of course, it's the low valuation. Well, it's somehow frustrating. I'm willing to contribute 100K US. Uh, is it possible, sir, to give 150,000 US dollars? with anti-dilution mechanism for the next round with a board seat. I'm gonna stick with my offer. You cannot run this in the Philippines without the license and you have to spend money anyway to get licenses and stuff. So maybe we can just partner on this and we can contribute financially in addition to our expertise. Actually, sir, your offer is attractive, but is it possible, sir, that I have a private call first with my uh, co-founders? Okay. It's a very good offer, and with what other uh, obstacles that we might come through, I think that would be the best for us. So my biggest problem now with the offer of Sir J, of course, it's the low valuation. Well, it's somehow frustrating. I mean, we need support for us to grow. And it's not just us, it's the Filipinos, it's everyone whom we can help advance our technologies. All right. So, uh, I have discussed with my co-founders, there are some things that we have considered. So number one, having a lower valuation could affect our current valuation. And number two, of course, is considering the international play at work. But you have mentioned that you have the expertise 
And with that in mind, Sir Jay, we are happy to get your offer. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm looking forward and very excited to work with your team. I see our team as very energetic. I think this has really big potential. Yes. Thank you, Sir Jay. And we would love to work uh, closely with you. Thank you. So the offer of Sergey was not quite what we were expecting, but of course, you have to take into consideration what he had given us, no? all of the obstacles that we will run through if and when we do start this in the Philippines. With his expertise, I think we will be in good hands. The NFT marketplace is big. It's billions of dollars every day, and they're practically garbage. And this one isn't, it's IP. So I think it has a big potential. Yeah, congratulations, Jay. I'm looking forward to the distributorship that he mentioned. You know, innovative products, he said he was able to secure distributorship for some innovative products. No? I'll check that out. Yeah, since you already have a stake in the company. <laughs> there are bright ideas, but you need experience. Uh, and partnering with you, definitely, I think that was the best move for them. And you'll be helping a lot of people. I think you're the best guy to guide them on that field. So congratulations, Jay. Thank you. <laughs> of course, I'm going to do further due diligence on the company. Hello, everyone. It's been an incredible two days of pitches. I'd like to thank each and every one of you, the investors, the investor teams, our staff and crew here on the final pitch. A lot has happened, and I am very, very pleased with the results of this season. I think we have helped a lot of people just by the mere fact that you have come together for your investments, for your support. We have, through these past two days, generated a lot of new opportunities and hopefully make an impact, particularly now that it is very difficult for us to rebuild. But that is why we are here. We may be in difficult times, but it should not deter us from impacting the future through our businesses, through our advocacies, through our cities, in shaping what will be our future after this pandemic. So judges, I'd like to ask a few words from you of your experience and perhaps share with us what you feel right now after having gone through these past few days of hearing these incredible entrepreneurs on the show. First of all, uh, Mr. Dennis Uy. Thank you, Jan. First, let me thank all the startups who have come out with the solution innovation to address the country's many challenges. The idea I have here past two days are testament of Filipino innovation. Whether or not gotten the, an investment from judges, I congratulate all of them and give ourselves a round of applause. To all the startups who presented, I hope learn how to move your business forward through our brief mentorship and I hope we are push our business to the right direction. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dennis. David? Well, uh, first and foremost, John, thank you for allowing me to be part of this amazing uh, uh, event. You know, meeting these amazing startups now, it's actually a, uh, an evidence that you know, we Filipinos are really brilliant and we're able to discover a lot of unique and impactful and relevant ideas. These are very important. And I'm really amazed of the things that they've shown us. And I think me, myself, and the whole multi-system, we're very excited to work with them. I can't wait to, to grow with them. And of course, I'm so thankful also with my fellow uh, investor judges. I've learned a lot from you guys. And as we combine and ride the shoulders of all of us, I think we're able to create and build a better future. Rose, the only rose among the thorns, what do you have to say for this season's The Final Pitch Virtual Edition? It's such a great pleasure to be with all of you at one of the most exciting and of course prominent shows for entrepreneurs. With this program, we carry forward a message of hope and success to all our aspiring businesses. For me, it's really a learning experience that have definitely helped and encouraged our aspiring entrepreneurs for real-life businesses. 
And of course, to all the investees, I would like all of you to know that I am proud of all of you and I look at you with high hopes and success for the future. I hope that all your brilliant business ideas will make the world a better place to be. Thank you for this opportunity and congratulations to all of us. Right now, I'd like to ask Mayor Bernard. Thank you very much, John. First and foremost, please uh, allow me to express my utmost appreciation among the 146 cities in the Philippines. You chose Kauaian. And, um, you know, it is really aligned. Thank you for being a part of our journey to have a smart and sustainable city. I am very fortunate that uh, we have a platform like this because one of the things we really want to establish is that smart cities are not exclusive for metropolitan cities, highly urbanized cities. If it can be done in a city highly agricultural, very rural, then there's no reason for other cities not to be able to do it. Thank you. I hope this humble experience of Kauaian has inspired other LGUs also. Again, kudos, congratulations, the final pitch for opening the doors to newer and greater heights. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much, Mayor Bernard. And finally, I think the most adventurous and forward-thinking investor that we have this season, Jay Villarante. Thank you, John. Thank you for inviting me to be uh, an investor judge and uh, join this amazing uh, lineup of investor judges. Congratulations for this season. Uh, I know it's been challenging to do this. Uh, your team must be working really hard. I'm really speechless about all the startups. It's, it, they are amazing and congratulations for bringing all this together. Obviously, I invested to some of them and uh, I'm very happy with the investments. I think they really have huge potential in the future. Thank you very much for that, Jay. I'd also like to ask a few words from my wife and business partner, Monica. It's actually your birthday, but uh, she's joining us here from our home. Thank you, Monica, for allowing us to do this. So I'd like to invite you as well to Say a few words on the success of this season. I would like to thank first our uh, Dragon's Nest team, Street Park Productions crew. Thank you also to all our investor judges. Thank you so much for saying yes and allowing your journey to intertwine with our journey on growing and developing entrepreneurship in the Philippines. And ultimately, which is all our goal, is to find better ways to build and rebuild our nation continuously um, because our country is in dire need of other solutions to build our nation today. Thank you very much and congratulations to all of you. This has been another epic season. Thank you very much to everyone for making this happen. And to all the entrepreneurs who pitched on the show this season, we wish you success from forging new paths for our country in the new normal. There's nothing left to do right now but to propose a toast. To entrepreneurship, to nation rebuilding, and to the final pitch, season seven. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.